So you have thousands of enriched leads, but zero emails sent. Well, I'm going to show you the exact workflow that I use to take enriched data and transform it into revenue generating email campaigns on autopilot. So in the last video, I showed you how to scrape leads using Apollo with Epify to get over 50,000 leads, take those scraped leads and enrich them with personalized messages. So this is how we did before where we had this full chain and essentially how it worked is that it took the websites, it had to get the relative links and then we did a manual search to get those links. But this is prone to error and doesn't work all the time. That is why I created this streamlined workflow which uses perplexity rather than this manual process over here. So what's nice about perplexity is that it automates this whole research process for you. So depending on what model you use, like I'm using Sona, you can get as minimal data as you need or as rich data as you require for that person. It'll cost just a few cents if you use the Sona model. So here's an interesting story. When I use Sona Deep Research, it found out that one of my leads had just given birth, which means that I could have used this in my first last message. Say, hey, I see you've just given birth. Maybe you could use this baby product in your marketing, for example. Now, as cool as it sounds, it could come across as a little bit creepy. Or who knows, if you have a product for that mother, it might come across as maybe super useful. I'll leave this to you to decide how creative or how deep research you want to go into. But for now, I'm just going to select Sona. So this is the system prompt that I'm using. And if you want this full system prompt to copy and paste, comment AI automation and I'll send it right down to you. So this gets the research for the company. So then you can merge all of the information that you've gotten before. We then summarize this information until finally we're able to use our AI agent to craft this personalized message. Now this is a system prompt in which I use the base template to say, hi, the person's name. I give a deep personalization line over here and I say, so I help managers or entrepreneurs like you save 20 hours per week by automating repetitive tasks. And to prove it, I want to build you one pilot automation for free. Are you available for a quick call? And then I put my signature right over here. Very short, personalized and to the point. So where did I get this template from? Well, there's this guy called Matthew Lucero who's, who specializes in cold email outreach and I essentially compiled a playbook from his teachings that shows you how to craft the best subject lines, the body, the call to action, the sequences and follow-ups and so much more. Make sure to comment AI automation down below and I'll send it right to you along with everything that I've just mentioned in this video. And a pro tip, if you want to do all of the summarization for free and personalization as well, you can use Open Router and use this Gemma 3 27 billion parameter model and you can use it for free. Just note that it comes at the cost of privacy. So just keep that in mind if you want your lease to be private. Finally, all of it gets saved into Superbase and I have a little wait command so I don't go over the rate limits. So now that we have all of our leads, they are stored nicely in Superbase. We have our AI summary over here. So now that we have all of our leads in our database, how do we take them from Superbase to our outreach platform such as Smart Lead or Instantly? Well, we could create a very simple N8N workflow to do this for us, but I decided to create a little app in that will do all of this for me. If you want to grab this convert to CSV app, I'll have it here in our corporate automation library, which has a ton of other business automations from content creation, marketing and growth, sales and business development, as well as sales and business development and more. We're going to be adding two to three automations per week to ensure that you are a member to gain access to all of these workflows. I have a very comprehensive readme over here that shows you how to install it and how to set it up. I'm just going to run npm start context, exported context, which is going to go into Superbase and export this table, which says context. That's the table name. Make sure that matches up with this over here that says npm start context. So this part here that says context should correspond with your table name. Now in the CSV, you can see that we have new lines inserted automatically over here, which is great. And now with platforms like Smartlead, they just bunch it up into one single line, which is a problem. You will not have this problem if you're using a platform like Instantly, which automatically inserts the new lines. But if you prefer to use Smartlead for whatever reason, maybe because it's cheaper, you can run this command over here to say npm run split exported context.csv and you can limit it to maybe 240 context or just take that out if you want to do the entire database and just press enter. So this is what the split summary looks like in which you will have your AI summary broken up into different columns. So we'll have AI summary one, two, 
3. So you can see each one is a new line all the way to 6. And that should work in Smart Lead. Great. So now we have our exported contacts. Let's import them into Smart Lead. So this is Smart Lead. It costs around $39 per month. I'm in no way affiliated with them. Currently, I'm on the free trial and I'm contemplating signing up for the basic plan, which is $39 per month. I would say that it's cheaper than instantly. So that's why I'm testing it out but you can decide which one you want to sign up for. Now in Smartly, the first thing you need to do is to set up your email accounts. Now you don't want to use your main email account like I'm doing because you might be at risk of it landing up in spam. But even so, you want to go into each email account and ensure that you have warm up enabled. So what this will do is that it will warm up your email accounts, which may take anywhere between one to two weeks and make it look to the email service providers like Google, Microsoft Outlook and all of the other ones that it's like a legit email account. This will improve your email deliverability for your email campaigns that you're going to be sending out. So first up, you're going to go over here to create an email account. I've already done so, so I'm not going to go too deep into this. So as you can see, I've imported all of my leads. And what you see over here is my email sequence. So I have about three or four emails. The primary email that I have over here is my AI summaries that you've seen before. But I click preview. So as you can see, the preview says, Hi Michelle, given RCH's consulting focus on optimizing client service delivery, I can imagine efficiently managing workflows is a constant priority. So I help operation managers, which is the, her title, like you save 20 hours per week by automating repetitive tasks. To prove it, I want to build one pilot automation completely for free. Are you open to a quick call to find a task that we can take off your plate? And then I put my signature over here as well as authority over there. So as you can see, we have our new lines inserted thanks to our manual insertions over here. So that should be perfect for our first email. So what about our follow-up email sequences? So I've got these ones that I have over here. So each one should be slightly shorter than the initial email. So essentially, we're trying to show proof that we've worked with other clients and this is not our first project and that we have the expertise to work on this project with them. So how did I come up with these emails? Well, I used the exact same playbook from Matthew Lucero that has all of the principles on how to structure your email follow-ups as well as how long the body should be and what your waiting period should be for each of them. I'll have this full playbook that you can download in the corporate automation library that you can access at the link down below. So that should be it. We have our leads, we have messages to send those leads and we have the platform in which to distribute. All, all we have to do now is to press the send button. If you want to see the video of all of the results that I've gotten from sending out leads, then check this video right up here.